there is a big difference between demand going down, which is what a lot of people think, and demand growth slowing, which is where the projections are. That means demand is still growing, just at a slower pace. Is that where you think some of the oil bears are getting it wrong? I think the bears are a little worried about longer-term issues like energy transition. Um, they're worried about the economy. They're worried about you know the build back better not passing. What they're what they're missing is that we've got this pent up demand, and um, energy transition is a long way away. So the demand side looks like it's improving, and the supply side's balanced, Brian. So. I think we've seen oil hold at 65 a couple of times now. And so I think we've got a good floor. The question is, what's the ceiling going to be? Yeah, and I think also what the Bears miss is that it's a little bit myopic. They forget there's a whole world out there, Dan, that just wants a little taste of what we've had in America the last 30 or 40 years, which is clean, you know, renewable, not renewable, but, but reliable and fairly inexpensive hydrocarbons. We can all transition here in America to EVs if we can afford it. People in, say, emerging markets like India, Nigeria, parts of China, they can't. And it's a big world out there. The global demand side is, is, a, is I think, the side that people tend to miss the most. Without a doubt. And, and what you're seeing with the situation in Europe uh, is that a quick move to renewables makes things less reliable, hot, more volatile, and ultimately, for them right now, more expensive. And... Uh, the developing world can't handle more expensive. They want cheap and available. And so uh, we think that the, the outlook on the demand side continues to look uh, more robust than consensus for in the next five to 10 years. And this energy transition will take decades, you know, not quarters or years. And so, you know, in the meantime, we need fossil fuels and we're going to use them. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.